College. Today is October 23rd, and I'm Kira McKee. And I'm Katie Graziano. Let's get right into our top story. Maris got a treat at the end of September when comedian Dimitri Martin performed at Maris. Reporter Katie Mina has the story. Thursday, September 24th, Maris College hosted Dimitri Martin as its fall concert. The comet performed in the McCann Athletic Center for both Marist and non-Marist students. SPC Public Relations Chairperson Courtney Cito gave us the 411 on SPC and this concert. Well, SPC stands for the Student Programming Council, and basically we bring the majority of events onto campus, like um, comedians, coffee houses, um, like smaller or bigger shows, like this is the fall concert, this is our bigger shows, but we have a lot of smaller shows throughout the year. As you can see behind me, students are filing into the McCann Center to see Dimitri Martin. Many students were excited to find out that he was going to be performing here in the fall. Uh, I wet my pants. No, I was, I was really happy. I, I was really, really happy. Actually, my brother goes to New Paltz, so I invited him to come here because he loves him too. I was really happy. He's like blunt funny that he'll just be like, he'll like say obvious things, but like you don't think of it that way. And it's like, oh, that's actually like really funny. Actually, funny story, last year, Christina and I saw a flyer at Marist for like extras that were needed in this movie. And it was called like Taking Woodstock, but it was like an hour away and we didn't have cars because we were freshmen. But if only we had been in it, then maybe we would be married to him. It would have been a polygamous relationship. Maybe. I don't know any other comedian that does it. Like tonight, he has the, his large pad thing. It's, it's really funny. It's just my kind of humor. Be sure to check out the second season of Dimitri Martin's sketch variety show, Important Things with Dimitri Martin, on Comedy Central, which started filming on Tuesday, September 29th. The show is set to premiere in early 2010. So you reporting from the side of the gymnasium. Uh, this is Dimitri Martin saying thank you to Marist and all the people who came to the show who go to Marist and also the ones who don't. Uh, signing off, uh, once again, this is Dimitri Martin from the left side of the gym if you're facing the front of the gym. On Thursday morning, a woman who was upset about losing her job decided to jump off the Mid-Hudson Bridge. The woman was spotted on the Poughkeepsie Shore by members of the Marist crew team who were practicing nearby at around 7.30 a.m. Dutchess County 911 received a call from a call box on the bridge, but no conversation was recorded. The woman was found unconscious by the shore and was taken to St. Francis Hosp Hospital. Fortunately, she survived and is being treated for hypothermia. Today was the last day to buy junior class rings. For those who purchased their ring, a ceremony is expected to be held in mid-November. The cost of the rings range from $300 to $500. Students have many choices for their rings, including color, stone, and marriage emblem. These rings will be blessed by Father Lamore in the chapel, and a reception will take place immediately after. For more information, contact your junior class officers. October 2nd brought the world of music to Marist. Katie Graziano captured the event. The many music groups at Marist came together to participate in an evening of musical magic for Parents Weekend. Participants in the show shared their thoughts on the music department at Marist. I did band last semester and now I'm doing singers and I love it and it makes me happy and joyful all the time, singing all the time. The music department is a blast. It's a really great time. We all get along really well and we've like got, we have our own little family down here so it's great. <laughs> that was totally my answer but <laughs> it, it really does feel like a family. We sound fantastic together and everyone's so loving and so welcoming. It's been awesome being here so far. I love the Marist Music Department. <laughs> um, yeah, we're freshmen and we all just met each other basically at Singers Camp and it was great and they were all welcoming. We love the staff. Everyone is really, really cool and especially the choral directors, Sarah. Sarah! Yeah. Right over there. Everyone else, everyone's really great. Yeah, uh, like Michelle said, we all met at Singers Camp when we came early and we love each other. We're all like best friends. So um, we love the music department for bringing us all together and for giving us the gift of music. Megan Warren, a sophomore, gave the concert rave reviews. I think that everything is made so much better with music. There's this connection that's felt um, when you listen to people sing or, you know, listen to the band play. And one of the, actually, one of the most fun moments of the night for me was um, when they played Stars and Stripes Forever, I think it was. And everyone, it was, everyone was so enthusiastic and clapping along and stuff. And you really felt like a sense of community, which I thought was really neat. And I'm really glad that I spent my Friday night here at the concert. Be sure to catch the singers and the orchestra tomorrow at 8 p.m. or on Sunday at 3 p.m. in the Nelly Galletti as they prepare to dazzle the audience with their night on Broadway extravaganza. This has been Katie Graziano reporting for Channel 29 MCTV News. Coming up next, we'll have the download on the farmer's market. 
as well as the latest in entertainment news. Stay tuned.